Hi everyone, I'm Alexis. Welcome to Rivera Paints. And today we are painting some cute mushrooms with this super nice abstract background. We're using watercolors to start off with. I have like a medium brush to kind of cover some more surface a little quicker. And I start off with yellow, doing some crazy strokes. Um, and I add lots of water to it. You know, these are watercolors. So every once in a while, I add a little bit more water so it kind of dilutes. And then I start adding some orange and some reds in there. And you're gonna see how, because there's a little extra water, not too much extra water, but little by little I add, so it starts to spread and they start to mix in this really like tie-dye, really pretty way. So that's what we're starting off with. It's like a nice beautiful mixture of these watercolors. see in some places I apply the paint like really watery more water than it is color and then you know in the spirit of abstract and looseness of color I was like I'm just gonna throw a green line in there you know because we have so many crazy strokes now let's have something like contrasted and make it just one clean line it's kind of bleeding into the other colors which is kind of nice and I'm here just like deciding, okay, what side is better? You know, composition is really key in painting, where you're placing things, how it's gonna look more visually pleasing. And I found that this way would be best because there's a lot of color up at the top. And I'm starting off with the mushroom heads. So they're kind of like a tight curve line, like a rainbow, and then a line at the bottom. And then I painted them in all the way red. And then as I paint them in red, I add a little bit of orange to them and a little yellow even towards the top to give it some like highlights and some extra color. I'm all about mixing. I love mixing colors. So the more that you can mix in there, the better, the more beautiful it will look. I would always say though, you always let things dry and then mix more on top because if you just start mixing all the colors at the same time it gets really hard for things to get lighter or darker because everything's wet so it's all about like a drying game give it time to dry and then add some more highlights and colors along the top by the way now we're working in acrylic paint and on watercolor paper with a small flat tipped brush for these stems so I made one mushroom a little taller so the stem is gonna be a little longer the other mushrooms a little shorter so it's gonna have a little shorter of a stem I mixed in yellow tiny bit of yellow a tiny bit of brown and lots of white and I'm only adding a little bit more darker and a little bit more darker brown and yellow towards the bottom for shadows so I'm really mixing with those colors. You can see I start off with a nice medium tone. I don't go too light yet or too dark. I start off with the medium tone and then I start to build up those shadows, making it darker. Then I let it dry really well and I add some really light tan colors because actually these stems are like almost white, but they're like a dirty white because they're coming from the dirt, right? So that's where I'm getting those like off white colors from. But they're so fun to create. I say just keep mixing. When in doubt, have these colors be really light. You only want a little tiny bit of shadow at the bottom. Now you can see that I've given my red some time to dry. I'm going back in with orange, a little bit of yellow at the very top of the mushroom head.
Okay, so now I'm going to start getting those uh, mushroom stems a lot lighter. So I'm going to allow more white to it because these are pretty light. And um, it's good to have contrast when you're doing shading or making something realistic. You want to have a lot of really bright, bright lights and a lot of really nice dark darks. That contrast is going to make things pop a lot more. So that's what I'm doing here. Just adding all those really light tones now. Really amplifying those lights and those darks. The top of these mushrooms have these really cute little white specks on them. Um, some of them are a little bit bigger, some of them are smaller, but it creates lots of texture to this mushroom. It almost makes it look like it feels like a little rough. It has these, these things that kind of protrude it and come out. So I start off with the shadow color, a really nice light gray. And then the same thing like everything else, I build it up. I let that light gray dry, then I add some white, or I add white, and then I add light gray after. So I'm just going back and forth with a little bit lighter and darker shades. But I make sure to make um, these little shapes very angular. So they have some angles to them, some like sharp points, some more curved points. I change them up towards the bottom of the mushroom. They're really tiny. And as they come up, they just get a little bit bigger here and there. And less is more. So if you do too much of this, it's gonna overwhelm your mushroom. So I say just do a little bit at a time take a step back, you know, work on the other mushroom and then come back and you can kind of dictate whether you want to add more of these little specks on your mushroom or less. And that's how I draw in these little cute white marks. And um, at the bottom of the mushroom, I just added a little bit more darkness, like almost like soil-like looking. So this is this beautiful style of mushroom. I've had so much time so much fun painting them they're just the cutest little things so i hope you enjoy them too definitely send me pictures dm them to me so i can share them on my instagram and on my youtube my instagram at is at rivera paints i'd love to see your artwork stay creative stay painting and until next time bye my friends <music>